took my Tommy gun and stuffed it in my trombone phone case. I really am learning how to play the trombone, by the way. Huh? Anyway, um, I stuffed the trombone, took the trombone and snuck out of the colonial. When I got to the Ever Young Spa, I did I thought I found who I was looking for. At least he looked like he'd just come out of prison. So I did what I was hired to do, or I did what I did what I needed to do. And then I tried to play the silky here and put the trombone piece under her desk. Turns <laughs> out I killed the wrong man. God rest his soul. I think I get it. Who voted for me? Sorry. <laughs> well, you see, I had the same task as Torchy to kill El Cappuccino. Only I had a better reason for doing so. You see, it was either pretty much kill Cappuccino or be killed myself. Let's just say I chose option number one. Um, you see, he was going to kill me for winning the wrong game. So he had to go. The plan was simple. I was to blow up Cappuccino's armored limousine. Arrow was my coach. So we started out, we tailed Cappuccino's limousine from the station. And when I saw my opportunity, I whipped right around his limo and I managed to perfectly throw a bomb beautifully through the driver's window of the limousine. The results were all that could be expected. The car went boom. But, uh, Right about that time, our spears were sore. <coughs> Only to be dashed about an hour later when we realized that Cappuccino hasn't been in the car all day. But I'd just like to say that I don't think this should be allowed to tarnish my reputation. I am still a very gifted athlete and I performed extremely well. <laughs> and uh, I believe that history should record this event without blaming the player. It was, after all, the coach's fault. <laughs> When I heard the 
the vault doors open. So I quickly looked around and jumped back in. But all I saw was that the vault was empty. There was no one in there. So then, lucky me, got stuck in a crate in the back of a delivery truck, riding all through the really, really bumpy street to park. Okay, me next. Take a look. Just look at this face. <laughs>
my part in the conspiracy was twofold. To find a person who resembled Hal and to legitimize a delivery to Cappuccino's Warehouse Thursday night. I located Lamp S. Robert and conducted the poor fellow to the Ever Young Spa where he was given room number 33. Uh, unfortunately, he met his destiny there in the form of a blazing Tommy gun. Shortly thereafter, his body was crated for delivery to the vault. Then at about 11 o'clock Thursday night, uh, Socks, Molly, and myself collected the crate containing the dead body of Lamp S. Lauder and the crate containing the very much alive Hal Cappuccino. <clears throat> By all appearances, that the, uh, the crates revealed that a shipment of caffeinated beverages were delivered to the vault. Now, I will have all of you people out there recall that I predicted that Hal Cappuccino would not live long in Oceana County. I intend to collect my winnings. <laughs> <laughs> so who voted for me? You can put your hands up. This is a good time to put it up. But keep them up because I'm writing the list down. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep them up. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. I see Jaden over there. He's been uh, counting on me since the very beginning. <laughs> Oh yeah, the hanger. <laughs> Mike Fred Fernandez. <laughs>
you win some, you lose some. Life's like that. Feel the cost.